If you do this, stop doing it right now. Do it, it is destroying you. Stop complaining. Stop being negative. Any sort of complaining or negativity that is uttered out of your mouth is weakness and a weak mind. Stop complaining, stop being negative. Um, if there's something bothering you in your life or something that's not going well, try to fix it, try to do something about it or and remove yourself from that situation or, or just stop talking about it, stop letting it consume you. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a characteristic of a weak mind, a weak person, and any sort of complaining is putting out negative energy. So it's, it's consuming yourself and you're letting it out into the world and it's, it's ultimately damaging for yourself and others around you and just not productive at all. And number one, also, no, number two is to also don't talk bad about other people. Don't talk bad about yourself. Remove any sort of, um, of course there's like objective criticism where you could say like, okay, you know, I'm watching a movie and I say like, this movie was, was objectively not a good movie. It was, it was a bad movie. You know, and, and, and so you're giving your evaluation of that. Or like, I ate this food, it's pretty bad food, right? Versus like, oh man, today sucks. Like, there's a difference, right? So you can objectively evaluate something, but don't be negative, guys. Negativity will just get you into that mode, mode of thinking. Again, if you have nothing good to say, don't say it at all. You don't want to be this person that's always complaining and always in the negative areas of things it'll mess up your own energy your own vibration your own speaking of like truth and beauty and positivity try to always remain neutral at least or be positive or say what you got to say one time it could be once and that's it so if you have to so if if, if someone's asking you about something or, or you have to say something speak your mind speak it true and and that's it so for example hey man like this this weather is you know for if it's foggy day man it's so foggy like ugh, it's just awful man i'm just doing feeling terrible it's like okay okay you can say that once but that, that, that's it so try guys remove all negativity out of your life i'm trying my best um i felt that as i've done this it's helped me just be more seeing the positive things in life because of course there's going to be negatives and positives but if you always see the positives and take the positives it'll start to you'll start to attract you'll be attracted to more things that are uplifting and uplifting things will appeal to you more and yeah what that's that's for sure one thing to take out stop complaining um if you can't change it if you can't do anything about it then there's no point in Like then why even do it, right? It's not, it can only bring you more down and bring the other people down around you. And so just cut it out and, and stop doing it. And of course, this is just my recommendation, guys. If you wanna keep doing it, you know, by be all means, but I think it's going to be correlated with a negativity complaining is correlated with like a negative mindset, which is correlated with all these types of like things such as like, you know, depression, hopelessness, anxiety, a feeling um, like you're not in control of things, being less optimistic, you know, just a lot of um, things that won't make you that are not good for your beneficial to your life, make you feel like crap, and ultimately hurtful, like not even helpful for your friends or your family or even people around you. Okay guys, so that's the message. Sorry, it was a lot of huge mouthful, but um, if you're negative, if you're complaining at all, just stop doing it, right? And also imagine this. Imagine the people in your life, right? Your friends or your family or other, even strangers that you meet. When you meet people that complain a lot or that are negative all the time, do you like being around those people? Do those people 
inspire you or do you want to include it? No, you don't. So if you're doing that, imagine how you're making other people feel too. They won't want to include you in your life. When, 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 you're tr when you're looking for like people who you want to be friends with or even like romantic partners, you're looking for people who are positive, inspiring, like fun to be around. No one wants to be around the person that's negative and toxic all the time. In fact, as these are what are called energy vampires. It's draining to be with these, these people. And so if you're any way in any ounce of that, try to eliminate it. Again, make one evaluation. Okay, this is it. It's not, you know, it's not helpful. And then either try to change it or drop it. That's it. That's it, guys. So I'm trying to do it myself. I'm trying to be more more loving, more positive, and or else just let it brush off. And the metaphor, guys, again, I'm sorry, I have hella metaphors and this might not be applicable, but two metaphors. Do you want to be a dirty pond? So imagine a pond that collects all the water and it's dirty. It gets dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. Or the running stream of water. And when you see our spring water, it's, it's clear, it's running, it's flowing. Any type of dirt, any type of debris that gets in it, it gets in it and it just washes it away, it keeps going, it stays clean no matter what. That's what you guys are, that's what I am. That's what I'm trying to be. Don't be the dirty pond. You are the fresh, clean spring water, guys. That's it, thanks for watching, guys. Peace, love, and yeah, peace.